When I'm working with someone that has auto sprink experience, uh, the standalone auto sprink, and they're moving into Revit for a project, one of the first features of auto sprink that they ask about, you know, is this in Revit, it is the library of pump rooms and riser details that, that comes with auto spring but also the ability to, you know of course to bring them in modify them and then save them back uh, should they make modifications that they'd want to use in future projects well uh, revit is not auto spring uh, that can't be uh, overstated uh, in in that in auto spring you're in, in an environment where you know the pipe object that we use is the same thing that you would use, same thing with the fittings and so on, even if they are different manufacturers, the actual entity themselves, entities themselves are the same. In Revit, however, you may want to build a uh, pump room, riser room with your routing preferences, the fittings that you want to use. And then from there, save these out for future use. Uh, you know, say if you're working in a prototype driven project uh, like some of your big box retail stores are you can take a pump room that you've created for one of those prototypical projects save it out and then you can use that same one as the basis for future pump rooms of that same prototype and that's what I'm going to cover here what we're going to do is create a group out of a uh, out of this pump room, which was uh, kindly donated to us by Sean Avis at Seacall Engineering in Nova Scotia. And we're going to take that group, write it out so that it is its own project file. And then from there, we'll be able to bring that in to a similar project for, for use there and any modifications that might be necessary. So first things first, let's create a group. So I've selected all of these items here. You can either type in GP or click on this icon here in the modify ribbon. It's going to ask us for a name eventually. There we go. And we will call this Proto Riser and Pump Room. Just something memorable. I'm going to copy this here. Hit OK. So that's going to create the group, and you can see it right down here. Now I'm going to go to File, Save as Library Group. So I want to save this group. You can choose, if you've got several, which one you want to save out. I'm going to put this on the desktop. I'll just paste in that name. Let that save off. just a moment here. Once it saves, I'm going to go and open that file real quick because uh, what you save out of here, there may be some things that are specific to this room maybe you don't want in the standard prototype that maybe you want to um, handle on a case-by-case -case basis. Let this finish saving here. And we'll go and open files right here. I saved it on my desktop to make life a little easy. And here's some things that did carry over that I don't want to keep. I don't necessarily want the hangers in here. And perhaps this is a, a one-time thing or something, so we'll just get rid of that. And now that I've cleaned this up, I can go ahead and save it, close, and I'm going to just delete this. Uh, we'll pretend like this, and I'm going to delete the group from the project, so like it, it's like it never happened. And then from here, I'm going to bring in that LinkedIn riser, or riser and pump room. So I'm going to go to Insert, Revit Link, go find 
that saved riser and pump room. Now, because, and you may actually find this to be true on your proto project, it may just come right into exactly where you want. But sometimes, you know, perhaps if it's more generic, what you're trying to do, maybe it, you know, you, your, your uh, attempt at just eyeballing or uh, placing a location that seems close enough may still require a little bit of placement. So from there, you could uh, use Revit's alignment to get your, your pump into place. Now, once you have that, you can bind the link. That'll actually keep it, it'll get rid of the, the link, have it, again, as a group. Remember, we created a group. This turns that link into a group. We'll go ahead and remove the link, and then from there, we can ungroup it. So now all of this is actually live in the project again. So the process for this, if you create a riser or a pump room that you believe you can use in future projects, you create a group out of it, save it as a group to a different project, go in and do any cleanup work to it that you want, and then in the future, it's best to introduce it as a link because you'll find it's easier to move it around and align it and things like that, whereas groups can get a little messy sometimes. And once you have it in place, bind the link and ungroup it and you're ready to go.